Merry Christmas everyone! Is it too early to say that yet? I'm not really the holiday type of guy, so I don't know. With that being said, it does not feel like Christmas at all to me yet. And I was hoping that I would get in the mood if we checked out some Christmas stuff together. And this is also why I'm dressed like this. Because in Germany it's cold in December and this is how I would usually dress it around Christmas time. My initial plan was to watch some Australian Christmas videos on YouTube with you together. But since I could only afford the cheapest laptop that Harvey Norman had in stock, this laptop nearly suffers a mental breakdown when I try to watch a YouTube video when there's a screen recording software running in the background. So no YouTube videos. Yes, I know, I know. But we try to make the most of it. You suck! Oh yeah, this is how I imagine. Australian Christmas to be. <laughs> oh yeah. What about the prawns though? Is a prawn some something you eat for Christmas very regularly? I don't I don't like them too much to be honest. Seven Aussie Christmas traditions we all love. Number one, surfing Santa. Alright, has anyone ever seen a surfing Santa before? That would have been something that I would have liked to see. I have spent Christmas in Australia last year though, but I was working on a farm. Pretty remote, one hour drive to the next grocery store. No Christmas in Australia for me, even though I was there. Eating prawns. Most families in Australia will send someone to do a prawn run in the morning. What's a prawn run in the morning? To get, buy some prawns? What's, what's the deal with prawns though? I mean, you could also just eat steak. I don't know, kangaroo steak. Why prawns? What does prawns have to do with Christmas? Is that some tradition that like goes 100 years ago? Most seafood stores will be packed on Christmas morning with grumpy parents or bored teenagers who have been sent on a prawn run. It's such a special time of year. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm more the snowman type of guy. I see that you're more the sandman type of guy. What I was wondering is do you see Christmas the same as I? When Christmas time arrives, Netflix and television, whatever, they will show you all these American Christmas movies where you have snow and cold and Santa and snow. Does it feel weird or wrong to you to see American Christmas movies with snow when you celebrate Christmas when it's hot? Or is it just a thing you grew up with watching cold snowy Christmas movies but and then you unwrap your presents at 35 degrees. <laughs> oh, Boxing Day. I've heard about Boxing Day and I think I knew what it was, but I forgot. This event usually involves a group of people drinking beer with their eyes glued to the cricket and another group of people drinking beer and not watching the cricket. The tradition of Boxing Day test is to either organize your entire day around the match or completely ignore it. Is there a cricket match on Boxing Day? Like, is, is that some kind of very important cricket Christmas championships or something? Merry Christmas, mates! Oi! Spilled me beer! Carols by Candlelight. Most cities in Australia host their own Carols by Candlelight. And there will usually be a few celebrity performers. Hmm. Like, I don't know, Sydney Opera House. Christmas Carols by Candlelight performed by... Tim Minchin? I love this guy, by the way. Unless you have spent Christmas with more than one family, in which case you're likely to have Christmas breakfast, lunch and dinner, Christmas is all day affair in Australia with lots of eating. Well, we have, in Germany we have the 25th and the 26th are the Christmas holidays. The 24th is Christmas Eve. So 24th usually is spent with your closest family, having dinner, getting your presents, the kids play with their presents, and then the next day usually you go visit Nana, and the day after you visit your uncle and yeah, you eat and feast on cake and coffee and leftovers from their 24th Christmas Eve. <laughs> well, that's a Christmas tree that I would like to put up in my apartment. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> the VB tree. 10 iconic Aussie Christmas foods rank. If I do not find at least two of these dishes containing Vegemite, I am very disappointed of you, Australia. Bavlova. That sounds Russian. Bavlova. The Russell Crowe of desserts. It does look 
Well, sorry, it does look really delicious. So is that pancakes? Oh, it looks a bit too dry for pancakes. Made with mer... Meringue. Never heard of that. Yeah, never heard the German word either. <laughs> Don't know what it is, but yeah, I, I, I think... I kind of know what that is. It's not really popular in Germany though. But it's undeniably one of Australia's most iconic Christmas traditions. And you can pretty much guarantee it's going to feature every Christmas spread. Let me know in the comments if you're having Pavlova for Christmas. I, I would love to know if you're all having Pavlova or not. 40 degrees Celsius in Sydney. Time to get your Santa costume on. <laughs> well, the way it looks, Christmas is a big thing in Australia as well. Oh, look at that. They all wear shorts. Can you see that? Oh, they're wearing shorts. Christmas pudding. Jesus. Oh, yeah, that looks really good. I can see cinnamon here. Orange or like nectarines. Yep. That's, that's how a Christmas dish is supposed to look to me. Okay, I can definitely see where this is going. A lot of sweet kind of things. In Germany, it's more, you know, heavy gravy kind of things and cookies. So our Christmas desserts is waffles and cookies, mostly. We don't really have fruit desserts, which is understandable because it's winter. There's no fruit season in Germany, of course. Australian summer, a lot of fruit. So I can definitely tell where that comes from. Potato bake, all right, that goes more in my direction here. This is more what I would expect of Christmas. Alcohol. It's no secret that we love a drink in the land down under. I have made a video about that. Go watch it afterwards. White wine or VB. Yeah, VB. Victoria's best, how I like to call it. In Germany, we drink hot wine, which is called Glühwein, which is red wine, dry red wine, hot, heated up, mixed with uh, star anise, cinnamon, oranges, and a few more spices. Delicious. I tried to introduce it to a few Australian friends of mine, but they they didn't really like it. Probably because that drink really heats you up from the inside. And you usually drink it on a German Christmas market, you know, when everything's full of snow. You're dressed like me, you have gloves on, but still your hands are freezing. And you just hug that mug of that hot wine with your hands. That's how you drink it. I can, I can see why they didn't like it in Australia. because It's just too hot. <laughs> yeah, that's another really nice Christmas tree. I gotta say, I got roasted from a lot of you guys when I said that that VB was my favorite beer in Australia. But I can see a trend here. I can see a trend in, in Christmas trees. It's all VB. Maybe because the can's green? Well, no, it's probably just because the beer is good. Prawns. In Australia, prawns literally taste like Christmas. What? So you're telling me that when you eat prawns throughout the year, that you're getting a Christmassy feeling? Like when I smell cinnamon and oranges, no matter what time of the year, when I smell cinnamon, I have Christmas in my head. Are you telling me that when you smell or eat prawns in July that you feel like Christmas? Guys, I hope you have a wonderful Christmas. I hope you see all the family members and friends you want to see and I hope you manage to avoid those you don't want to see. I wish you best health and that you get anything for Christmas that you wished for. Also, thank you guys so much for 1000 subscribers. I can't believe that more than 1000 people actually clicked that button it means the world to me, you don't even know. And this is most certainly your Christmas present for me. And I hope that you're getting what you wish for. With that being said, take care of you guys. Merry Christmas. Goodbye.